Hey, gracious, good morning to all the traders out there in trader land. My name's Des here at Grok Trades Tuesday, July 19, 2011, and the markets are showing some nice bullish pre-market activity awaiting earnings to be released. We have the S&P up 0.63%, 65%. And about the same here on the Dow, NASDAQ up more than that, 0.83%. So nice little pop here expected, but we do have earnings. We have pre-market earnings coming from Coca-Cola, uh, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, some big time players releasing this morning and that could certainly send this bullish activity uh, downward if we start missing some projections but anyway let's take a look at what we saw in this triangle yesterday yesterday the triangle was support 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 crash down 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 we're looking at a spider 60 minute or hourly chart by the way we try to rally back rally back rally back high base high base acting as resistance However, today we gap up above the 50 intraday moving average, and then we have base, 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 base. We did come down, tag this 130.96, come right back up. But this trend line now is acting as resistance again. So if this thing does break out, the next area of resistance I see is 131.56, and then after that we're going to be looking at 132.08 as an area, and then 132.67. So if this does break out, this will be a triangle that that we had a jab because we left that trend. And I'll bring in some more data to see this support, 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 crash, support, resistance, broke resistance. So these are called jabs. Anytime that you're within a triangle or a trend and you leave it and then come back into it, jabs. And now we have a triangle yet again that we're waiting for some sort of play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, take this down, and put that there. Support, support, support. Those two are parallel lines. And I'm going to remove this one now that we broke it. We are in a downtrend. We're at resistance right now. Uh, but we do have the 50 and 20 day acting moving averages acting as support. So this would be a really good place for this thing to start breaking down again. And we'll want to fill this gap. To fill the gap, we need to get to 130.70. Once the gap is filled, a lot of times it will trace the direction in which it gaps. So that means it would head back up. However, if this high base does break out, um, we will have broken the downtrend. And we're heading into either a sideways trading range or an uptrend. So let's see what the day has for us. should be exciting. Take care and safe trading. And feel free to join us in the chat room.